why are you running for state superintendent? Um, I'm running for state superintendent because when I left office the first time I was superintendent, the, the rates of proficiency were over 60% for math and over 74% for reading. And under the current incumbent, Kathy Hoffman, they're 42% uh, and 42% even before COVID. After COVID, it got worse, but I, you can't blame her for COVID. But even before COVID, they were 42% and 42%. And it's because of a lack of leadership by her in, in academics. She's been in, uh, focusing on other things. When I was superintendent, I focused on academics, and the test scores showed it. And she has not been focused on academics, and the test scores, unfortunately, are terrible. And as you know, I have been the Arizona Attorney General, and my friends tell me, you're going backwards by running for superintendent again. And I say, no, the big problems are in the schools, and that's really what I want to work on. So you say that Superintendent uh, Kathy Hoffman right now is not focused on academics. What do you feel like she is focused on? Uh, critical race theory, um, um, social emotional learning, sexual things uh, that you've probably heard about. They have something on their website called QChat, which stands for Queer Chat, where students go on, give personal, with, with parents not knowing about it, give personal information, sexual information. She's focused on uh, social emotional learning, which I in some ways is a front for, uh, for uh, critical race theory, uh, if you look at the actual curriculum. But also it discourages discourages discipline because teachers are told don't discipline kids because it hurts their feelings and you have to have discipline in order to have academic progress you have to have orderly classrooms where kids can learn as what would you do to keep students safe I've long been an advocate this goes back at least 20 years in my in my career in, in education policy of a policeman in every school <clears throat> we call them school resource officers or RS SROs and they're not only good for safety, but they're there all the time. So they make friends with the kids, and the kids learn to trust them rather than view them as pigs or, you know, uh, hostile, uh, hostile toward them or anything like that. <clears throat> and uh, and I've always lobbied the legislature for more money for SROs so we could have them in more schools. I think we should have them in all the schools. My next question about um, helping retain teachers and getting more pay. So how would you push the legislature to be able to? get more money to bring teachers or keep them? Well, you have to write correct legislation. Um, uh, you may remember Governor Ducey promised a 20% um, raise for, this, for the teachers, but the legislation was badly written and the school boards were able to uh, uh, apply it to other things. So the teachers got raises, but they didn't get the 20% that was promised, sometimes only a small fraction of it. Um, and I think part of the duty of the school superintendent is to look at the legis legislation, be sure it's proper. So you mentioned critical race theory. Yes. Um, and I know you talk a lot about it on your campaign. Yes. Um, you feel like critical race theory is being taught inside schools. Oh, I know that for sure. And the reason I'm opposed to it is what I believe are my ideals and the American ideal, and that is we're all individuals, we're all brothers and sisters under the skin, Race is irrelevant to anything. What's relevant is what do you know, what can you do, what is your character, and what is your ability to appreciate beauty, and not what race you haven't been born into. With critical race theory, they tell kids that their race is primary. It's m the most important thing about them. They divide kids into oppressors and oppressed based on what race they were born into. So the oppressors are supposed to feel guilty 24 hours a day, and the people who are identified as oppressed think they can't really achieve anything because the system is against them. This is the land of opportunity, and that kind of teaching is really negative for academic achievement, and I think it's morally wrong. Uh, morality to me includes the idea that we're all individuals, and nobody's prejudiced against anybody else based on their race, their sexual orientation, or anything else like that. And, um, and that's what we need to teach our kids, not that race is primary. My last question for you. Um, every voter we talk to just mentions how Arizona is at the bottom of the education pool. How would you lift the state back up? Yes, education, Arizona's at the bottom because of a failure of leadership by the current superintendent. Um, and I have a, a program to bring it back up based on the experience I had when I was superintendent. We did have high test scores. Um, and that includes the agency as a service agency that I talked about earlier. It includes holding districts accountable for low test scores, which I do did and which Kathy Hoffman does not do. It includes students having to pass a test to graduate to motivate them to study. 
so that the diploma means something to employers and, and we shouldn't be graduating illiterate students. I have a whole program for raising the amount of learning and raising the test score, so Arizona should never be on.